everybody! So usually I start my videos in broad daylight and end them in the night time. Today we're shaking things up because why not? I am in London, I'm so excited. I've been here for like half a day and I've already, um, like TV chef style, I've already done a little bit, I've already prepped something. Um, I've had a little bit to eat and I've seen one of my good friends, Noor, love her. We went to get the best pizza um, and before that for lunch I had amazing dumplings. I'm definitely going back for sure. That was called Planet Vegan. Vegan Planet? Vegan Planet. And then Puresa for pizza. Also amazing. And I got a little zero waste ducky bag from there. So I couldn't eat all of it. So now I'm thinking to snack on this for breakfast tomorrow. Because hotel breakfasts are basically never vegan and I don't bother. So I usually just prep something. These are the zero waste swaps that I decided to bring. So we have the wax wrap, we have a reusable water bottle, we have the spork and then we have two canvas bags easy. So uh, yeah, that's real. <laughs> okay, okay, no, no, no. Okay, so there are these knobs on like all four corners of the bed. Um, I've touched some of the other ones during the day and nothing has... This is just not attached. This is just put on top. This is dangerous. By the way, I left without my brain. So there's so many things I've forgotten, including a charger for my laptop and an adapter for EU to UK plugs. Um, and I'm gonna borrow one. The charger, I've had to get a new one, which sucked, but uh, I kind of have to work. So, so, so there we go. Um, and I hope that's gonna be the only thing I realize I've forgotten. <laughs> This room, by the way, just don't mind me and whatever I'm wearing. And um, this room is tiny, by the way. It's very tiny, but it is really, really tall. Um, and it's great that I am such a tall person. I need all of this space up here. Why are the cabinets all the way up there? Look at... I'm never reaching those. I don't know what's going on. I'm stretching as much as I can. <sighs> now I fear what's in them. Honestly. Sorry you're about to see something gross, but I... It's just the water is already a little gross there, but I brought some soap nuts and then I can use them to sort of wash my socks, stockings, etc. during my trip. And so I don't have to pack as much. Look at that. No, I am so sorry, but that is awful. <laughs> that is awful. No. Okay, I regret showing you this. Good morning, everybody. I promise you next time you see me, It'll be in daylight. It's about six and I'm going to an aerial yoga class. Let's go. You went to aerial yoga, it was so fun. You're really good at it, but you've I've been doing it for like a month. Yeah, this yeah. was my first time, I really liked it, but we also picked up a dog. It does, that sounds like we stole a dog, we didn't steal a dog. <laughs> Whose dog is it? <laughs> it's uh, my friend Arthur's dog. Hey girl, oh, you're so excited. <laughs> at Wave and uh, I'm about to order some breakfast. They have vegan, pastries here. So that's what's happening. So I'll start here over here then. Okay. The crunchy sound here. Mm. So we have like small bits of vegan bacon, ice cream, syrup, and pancakes. I'm not sure about ice cream for breakfast. No. Okay, can I taste that one too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's buzzing. Now my safe space is National Gallery. I cannot go here without going to National Gallery. And the thing is, like some people cry or like tear up with joy and happiness when they listen to a piece of music, read a certain book or see a movie or like hear a line somewhere. But I have that feeling when I go to National Gallery, I'm just, I'm gone. I'm dead and I'm gone. Specifically, Van Gogh's paintings. But overall, the vibe, but specifically, the sunflowers. It gets me. Another episode of I couldn't quite finish my food, so I'm taking it home with me. I have these vegan nuggets from Neat Burger. They are so good, but I couldn't finish them. So I'm just gonna grab a few bites as a snack before heading out tonight. Hello guys. 
There's an hour and a half until I have a concert. I'm not playing. I don't know why I wanted to clarify that, but let's continue. Uh, a couple of days ago, I saw that one of the creators that I follow on TikTok, Casey Lowry, I think is his name. Sorry. He's the guy with the acoustic guitar always giggling when he sings and he's so precious. He's giving a concert in London and I got a ticket so I am going. I am super excited. I have no energy right now because I chose to lie down. Rookie mistake, don't ever do that. Um, and also I've been up since five-ish so there's something there. So we're just gonna do a tiny little bit of a glow up. Check this out. And there we go. Okay, ready to go. Honestly, going to concerts by yourself is so underrated. I was so happy that I went, but I was also so tired when I came back. So I basically started my evening routine instantly. Deglamming, taking a hot shower. I brought my solid shampoo from home to use. My teeth I'll be brushing with Dentabs, which are so nifty for traveling, by the way. And that's it. I fell asleep right away. So I guess I needed it. Hey guys, it's a new day and uh, we're going thrifting. First up was Trade, where I instantly saw this denim number and I knew I had to have it. This is so much fun. I also tried this vintage suit and it was okay, but there was a stain on the jacket, so I passed on that. Then I went back to Vegan Planet for lunch, where I had dim sum and fried rice. Huge recommendation. This was so good. And I went to Camden Market to find more secondhand clothes. There are so many gyms here. I personally loved Rocket. They have amazing styles and I tried on this corsage made from pre-loved waist fabric. Pretty awesome. Lastly, I stopped by Oxfam, where I tried on some shoes that I loved, but I do not have room in my luggage for more shoes. And as the last event of the day, I treated myself to a real splurge, which was this amazing vegan eating experience at Gautier. I had a seven-course vegan meal, and this was some of the best food I have ever had. It was beautiful, it was tasty, and the attention to detail was through the roof. Also, big shout out to the staff, they were super, super nice. It's so wild to think that the idea of eating alone at a restaurant was so unthinkable to me once, because now it's one of my favorite things to do. I can so recommend trying to seek out occasions and experiences that you can have by yourself and I would love to hear you guys in the comments what you feel about it. It's another day and I have a friend who just moved in. I covered her in a little bit of concealer but she big. <laughs> also the fit. The, this outfit today I'm just loving. I'm wearing the denim suit from yesterday that I bought and it's so comfortable and amazing but also really stylish you know. So I'll see if I can film something or have someone help me take a good picture of it. Worst thing about traveling by myself, for sure, it's that I don't have anyone to document my fly outfits, which is compared to a lot of other things, a really small problem. Art and witnessing the history of the great artists does make me a little bit emotional, but science does the same thing, especially if it's about the universe. Well, I guess ultimately everything is, but space. Now, I didn't get to see all of it, obviously, there are tons, but now we have afternoon tea and I'm really excited about it. I had the vegan science afternoon tea in the drawing room at the Ampersand Hotel. And while it was definitely a treat I wouldn't go for every day, it was super fun. You start by mixing your own lemonade. Um, this is Loki sauce. Let it be known, I think this might be for kids. I don't know, but I had a fun time. I loved the interactive element of the food. There was more plastic involved than I expected, but lots of it seemed to be reused though. You got to add flavors and mix different consistencies and uh, extravate chocolate. And while some of the savory treats could be better, I am looking at you, vegan hot dog. I'm really happy that I tried this out. Okay, let's work. Hey guys, so I am kind of full still, um, but not a lot. And I'm feeling that in the near future, I might get hungry. So I made a dinner reservation at a vegan pasta place. <laughs> After working for a couple of hours, I feel a little bit casual. We had the bun going, we're just chilling. Okay, so it's pouring down, but there's a beautiful rainbow. When I knew I was going to London, I posted on Instagram if anyone was interested in meeting up. And a lot of you guys said yes, so today we're doing like a little meetup and I am 
so thrilled and excited. So we're going to Love Shack. Let's go. The meetup is in a second and uh, I was just feeling it, taking a little selfie, you know, vibing. And then I got catcalled by a 12 year old. Smash the patriarchy. Jesus Christ. The meetup was sort of a lunch, so we all went to Love Shack. This is a fully vegan restaurant in East London and we got some amazing food. I got a smoothie bowl because my body has not seen a vegetable in days. But next time I'm definitely getting the English breakfast or the pancakes. I was so nervous to do this, you guys, but everyone was so nice and people connected with each other, shared social media. And I just loved seeing this little community interact. This was really, really special to me. Um, so it's a yeah. Giddy Mary field trip now. <laughs> what was the name of the museum we were going to? Like Oddities, the Curiosities Museum. Everyone else walked past it so many times. Nice. It was being eaten a bit. <laughs> I'm so done. This is the best thing. <laughs> this is just. Guys, I'm a little bit overwhelmed right now. Um, so the meetup lasted from 11 till 4 p.m. And you guys were so nice. I am honestly just a little bit, just a little bit overwhelmed that I was able to bring together a community of people that were so kind and genuine and nice and just vibing with each other. I didn't expect that. I don't know what I expected per se, but I am overwhelmed with how amazing everyone was. <sighs> okay. I am home and uh, I am so tired, but in the best possible way. I had a little bit of work. It's done, but I'm still basically speechless, which is damn near impossible for me to be. But I am so blown away by how amazing this day was. Thank you to everybody who showed up and just had a great time. I just, yeah, thank you, thank you. Also, one of you guys brought me a gift and um, emotional girl, that is the theme of today. Um, but this is also, it's precious. Okay, look at this, this fish bottle. I'm going to put it in my new bathroom in the new house, um, but I did not expect to get anything and I love me a good thrifted moment and this is so much fun. I'm going to cherish this forever. Now I'm going to stay in for the rest of the night, watch Pride and Prejudice and then I got some vegan pastries from Greg's and yes, I got the vegan sausage roll because it's bomb. And then I got this with vegan cheese and some different thing. I don't know, I can't remember what it's called, but it's also pretty good, I think. Then we have a little lemonade. Yeah, and uh, that's Saturday for you. The people that get it, get it. I mentioned in like the ugly sustainability video that I save all napkins and then I use them for stuff when I get home. So practical though, like, okay, okay. Now, the weather is amazing today. Um, it's raining. Shout out to the, my coat because it's water resistant. I've been sitting on it in parks as well. It's just the best piece of travel clothing I've ever owned. And I've gotten nonetheless than three dams from the most beautiful women I've ever seen in Camden. So, it's a win. <laughs> now we're gonna go to Tate Modern. And uh, that concludes it for the London vlog. I was just walking around today, a little bit of vintage shopping, a little bit of museum touring and some amazing food. I went to Wolf and Lamb and then I went to Mildred's and that was it. I haven't traveled solo in a long time and this definitely triggered some anxieties that I am really happy that I got to work through and I enjoyed this so much and I also think I needed it. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!